The thing that's tricky about this film is that my main subject is a person who lied for a living. And so most of the historical record, the archival record, was stuff that he had produced himself. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky to figure out what the truth was about his life because he was the primary source for information about his life. And part of what he did so well was construct his own story. I'm Penny Lane, director of Nuts, which is premiering in the US documentary competition at the 2016 Sundance Film Festival. Nuts is the mostly true story of a doctor named John Romulus Brinkley, who in 1917 claimed that he had cured impotence with goat testicle transplants. When I found Brinkley's story, I thought it was ready-made for a film. His biography is a tragedy. It's a classic American story of someone who's born with nothing and, you know, through his own hard work and genius, works his way to the top and then falls in this very spectacular way. One of the fun things about the film and how it ended up coming together is that it's structured as chapters, and each chapter is illustrated and animated by a different artist or team of artists. It's too bad I don't have Billy Goat Nuts. <laughs> too bad. Say, Doc, why don't you just put some in me? Beg your pardon? It also allowed me and us to kind of play with the idea of what's true because you're literally having the same scenes redrawn by different people and they're able to kind of enhance certain aspects of it or sort of see it from a different angle. Having the hand-drawn in animations allowed us to think about what we could say was true about a given scene or examine like different truths that could be coinciding with certain scenes. I thought from the very beginning that the last thing I wanted to do was make a film where you as the audience member could sit back and be like, what a bunch of dummies, how could they possibly have believed this? It was really important to me that it become clear that we're all those dummies, like any of us can fall for anything. Brinkley was a person who knew that, and a pretty good rule of thumb would be the better the story is, the more critical distance you should bring to it. It's good to be skeptical of really great stories.